High fructose corn syrup has an image problem. Sales are down 20% over the past decade, so corn marketing people want to change the name. How does corn sugar sound to you? It got us thinking about the rules for changing food names and what foods to get rid of the hard to swallow names. Good question. Jason to Russia found a bunch of them. Uh, have you ever had Chilean sea bass? Yes. But Chilean sea bass isn't from Chile, and it's not a sea bass. If you saw Patagonian toothfish on your favorite restaurant menu, are you going to order that right up? Uh, no, probably not. That's why marketers stuck a fork in the name Patagonian toothfish, changing it to... Chilean sea bass. Yeah. Naming can be of critical importance. Phil Lee is the president of JT Mega, a Minneapolis marketing firm focused on food. If I were selling a product that had wheat in it, could I change the name to, uh, you know, super duper grain and put that on the label? Uh, that's a very good question, Jason. When the maker of Aspartame wanted a less clinical sounding brand name for its sweetener, it just trademarked a new one, Amino Sweet. I don't know that that's much better. I don't either. You know, maybe that sweet connotation again with sugar. But to change an official food ingredient name, you need the Food and Drug Administration. They allowed the Chinese gooseberry to become kiwi fruit. Criminy mushrooms are now portobello. Prunes? Who eats prunes? Old people that can't go to the bathroom? Correct. You think 80 years old, you think constipation? Correct. Uh, that's not a good sales that's uh, not a technique. Good sales so prunes are now dried plums. That one seems silly to me. You can probably imagine why rapeseed oil didn't sell well. Horrible name. It's now called canola oil. If you sell honey that's made, for example, from apples, you can't spell it H-O-N-E-Y. You have to spell it H-O-N-E-E. -E. And there's products out there like that because you can't confuse the consumer in terms of what the definition of honey is. When you hear high fructose corn syrup, you think what? Bad. 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 The FDA has an exhaustive approved name list, and there's already an entry for corn sugar. Scientists will take six months to decide if high fructose corn syrup can adopt that sweeter name. Perception is reality with consumers. Uh, just for the record, I like prunes, too. Should I be admitting that? But they should have had a picture of you in there. <laughs> I think they were trying to say just old They're trying to say, like oh, okay. Prunes, but <laughs> like the FDA rules with uh, naming drugs, food names need to be backed up by science. Yeah, so when Jason suggested changing wheat to super duper grain, he would have to provide evidence that wheat is in fact super duper, that it is nutritionally superior. I think he was taking a shot at me there. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Who likes to sneak those in? Yeah, every once in a while. Something yeah. tells me you'll get him back somehow. <laughs>